and go onto a very exciting screen and of. I think that looks really nice. This arrived yesterday. Look where I am, you might recognize this backdrop. Oh, hello. No. So I picked up two pieces of clothing. I've just finished my seven hour cookery class. How are we all? Hope you're doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to, do you know what? This is going to be a weekly vlog. I'm actually quite excited to film a weekly vlog because I haven't done one in the longest time. I just think they're quite nice to just film lots of little segments throughout your week, sandwich it together and just kind of look back on a week. So yeah, it's going to be a bank holiday weekend, but how are we all doing? How is everyone? Let me know down below. I love reading all of your comments and I know that a lot of you are kind of just, you know, going through the motions quite similar to me and obviously I'm fully here to have a chat down there. So yeah, let me know how you are. It's come towards the end of August, beginning of September, kind of ready for a new month. I feel like August, nothing really bad happened. It just wasn't really, wasn't really my month, but that's fine. So yeah, moving into September, things are going to cool down. Things are going to get a little bit more, you know, I feel like I might find my routine again. Who knows? I'm taking each day as it comes. Zara's working from home today, she's just had all of her stuff behind. I'm actually about to head into town, I've got about 10 minutes or so before I need to catch the train. I'm going to a very exciting screening of a new doc, I think it's called a docu-series, where it's like a documentary series on Princess Diana and uh, as you know I've spoken about this before on my channel, I'm a huge, uh, like just love anything historical and obviously everything that Princess Diana stood for. I mean, she was an absolutely amazing person. It's a true loss, not only to our country, but to the world that she's no longer here. Um, but it's essentially unseen, exclusive moments of her life and just kind of like celebrating everything that she did, you know. She was just, she was a beacon of hope. So yeah, I think it was, set, I think it was an anniversary of her 25th year. I think she died in 97, something to 25th. I think it would have been a 25th anniversary of her death. Um, so Sky have released a um, yeah like a series about it. So I'm going to go to the screen and of it. It's just above Oxford Street. So I'll take you guys along, and then we're going for dinner this evening, which is very lovely. So yeah, it's just going to be. I'll just pick the camera up as and when throughout this week. Anything that's worth filming, I will. Outfit-wise, it's kind of a tricky weather to dress for. I've gone for a slightly oversized t-shirt. I love these ones. They're from Uniqlo. Um, they're unisex, so you can get them in men's and women's. Really affordable, lovely quality. And I've just gone for some um, trousers with a little belt. And I'm going to pop my trainers on. So I just finished up watching the Diana, it was a film, I thought it was going to be a series but it's essentially a documentary film. Um, I'm going to talk more about it at home because it's quite loud where I am, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I even shed a tear, which is not a surprise because I cried a lot of things nowadays. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll talk more about that when I'm home. Right, I'm back from town, it was very loud around the station, didn't get a chance to speak about it but it was genuinely, I'd thoroughly recommend if you do get the chance to watch it, if you do have access to Sky TV. It was brilliant because it was unnarrated, so it had no bias, it had no, you know, people who were her friends or associates or people who'd worked with Diana, it was none of that, it was purely just unseen footage and clips that people have recorded of the Princess of Wales and kind of just, you're left to interpret your own thoughts and opinions about what she's truly thinking, what she's truly feeling, obviously you'd never really know, but it's just what you feel, so you just form your own opinion on it and I honestly, I think it's very poignant that even now in 2022, it's still very much, it's not really a good way to put it, but social media is a reflection of what it was 20 years ago and it hasn't really changed. People still get harassed and you know, every move, everything that they do is still watched online. People still form opinions, so. So anyway, yeah, thoroughly recommend that. I'll leave it linked down below. You can watch the trailer. Um, we're gonna go out for dinner this evening. The restaurant's actually called The Pepperine. and it's in Clapham. Um, we had a look online and the menu is very affordable, so yeah. That's dinner. Nice little Monday treat. Hello! A very unconventional Monday. Would you like to say hello to the vlog? You're nearly- look how tall you are now. Look, you fit in the frame without needing to even be lifted up. Look at you go! She's a wolf. Okay, so same outfit I had on earlier. I've just popped a jacket on because it's coming into jacket season. It's a lot cooler in London. Denim jacket, same trousers. Changed up the shoes for Converse. 
Let's go eat some Thai food. Okay, so we come for dinner. I'll show you the menu. So we drove past this and Zara pointed this out. The menu is really affordable. It's kind of like $9.95 for curries, stir fries, wok noodles, and the um, drinks menu is really affordable too. You can get a bottle of wine for $16.95. <laughs> was absolutely delicious. So, so good. Really, really like the flavor of it. Yeah. Sometimes you can get a Thai and it's just a bit you know, meh. I never usually go out for food that you can eat at home. You could say that about anything. No, I mean. <laughs> like a steak or like no, a no, lobster no, or something. No, like opposed a... to like a curry. No, I mean like I never, ever, ever go out for like Chinese or Indian food. Like to oh. me, they're home foods. Take like that's away. a takeaway. Oh, okay. That was delicious. If you are based in Southwest or Clapham, Ballam, too, check it out. It's delicious. And it was like 20. Yeah, so good. And it was like 25 pound each for like three starters, two main courses, rice, and two drinks, and service charge for London. Amaze. Morning. Good morning. Woo. So today is Tuesday and I'm off to do the weekly shop. I usually do it on a Monday, however, we went out for dinner yesterday as you saw uh, and obviously had a busy day, so today is food shop day. Also gonna drive to Danam because I wanna grab a new cushion for our armchair. The one we've got doesn't really go with our new cushions now, so Danam has some really affordable, nice options. So I'm gonna drive to our local and see see what they've got, and I thought it'd just be a nice opportunity to bring you guys along too. So I popped into a different Danam because I feel like this one has usually a little bit more variety. Quite like these olive green cushions. The mustard is lovely too. They would have been perfect for the living room. I like this, but I feel like we've got a lot of green on, so maybe not a full green. Something like that might be nice with some tones. I like this one, it's double sided, so it's got like a stripe on one side and then like a floral on the other. That's quite nice, it's 12 pounds. I'm very tempted by that. I might grab that as an option. Love the pattern, I think that looks so nice. I didn't realize Danam had such a nice selection of artificial plants and flowers. These might not look real, but I feel like I can style them quite well. So I'm gonna take them home and see how we get on. I'm very happy with my selection. I quite like this one as well. I feel like it's quite cool. It's 24 pounds, so it's just a little bit more expensive, but I really like the tones of it and the different colors, but very tempted. I feel like this is what we're gonna go for. So we've already got one cushion on the armchair. So I feel like this kind of works. I do also really like this one, but I feel like it might be a bit busy. I'm not sure. I was actually very well restrained in there. Um, I put the artificial foliage back. I just, I don't know. I wasn't 100% sold on it. I feel like it can quite easily look fake. I just got some cushions and a reed diffuser for my bedroom. So I'm back from the food shop and I'm gonna eat this leftover pasta. This is leftover mac and cheese with butternut squash. We had it the other day and it was delicious. I'm having this and I'm gonna crack on with some work. I've never known a dog sleep so much in my life. You are living your best life and I love it. So I just finished lunch and uh, these are the Danelm purchases. So I think they go really well together. And um, this is the diffuser I picked up. It's, um, I actually smelt it in store. It's the Church Git Fragrances Amber and Tonka. So I'm gonna pop that in my bedroom. But yeah, these are the cushions. So this is the first cover that I'm gonna be popping on the tartan. And then I'm gonna have this one in front. I just think the green contrasts nice with the brown. So I'm gonna swap them over now. I think that looks really nice. I'm kind of glad I went for lighter colors because this corner is quite dark, especially with the new wall color. But I think that looks lovely and they're very comfortable. And then I've just popped the tartan cushion on my green armchair. <laughs> Can you tell we like green in this house? We have a lot of variations of green and teal, but with the olive, I think this looks really nice. It's quite cozy. So this is obviously where I sit to do my work. So yeah, very, very happy with that. It's nice to repurpose that somewhere else in the home. And then this is the rediffuser. It's really nice. It's got like an apothecary vibe to it. It's amber and tonka. I can already smell it. It smells wonderful. So I'm keeping that on my desk too. Hello everyone, so today is Wednesday. Um, I've had a pretty, well, kind of uneventful day. I should have definitely picked up my camera for some bits, but I'm kind of going to save it for a future video. It's involved now hallway. Sorry if you can hear the washer. I'm um, going to make dinner this evening. Really simple dinner because it's actually, how warm is it today? No, I'm done. It's like I had jeans and t-shirt on this morning, so already, and then as the day got on, it was hotter and hotter. It's currently, it's currently 27 degrees, which feels quite warm. Sure, is it? Mm. 
obviously not the 40 degrees we've had. We do a puff pastry, pesto, or mascarpone, and tomato tarts. It's really simple. We've got a whole lovely tub of some heirloom tomatoes. Obviously, the tomato season comes towards the end of summer, so we've got some beautiful colours. And then just some classic Philadelphia and some green pesto. So we're going to mix the two together, spread it on the pastry sheet, top it with tomatoes, have it with some salad, and that's our dinner. Nice and light, quick, easy, very good for a hot summer's evening. The tart is assembled, so I've just got the puff pastry base. I've made a nice little border around the outside, brush it with garlic oil, and then the base is Philadelphia, so like a nice cream cheese mixed with pesto, and then it's got a lovely variety of tomatoes with some herbs on top, some black pepper, and some salt. So we're gonna bake it for around half an hour until it's beautifully golden and puffed up. Zara's giving oh. Maggie her dinner treat. Look how gentle she is. Good girl, oh, Maggie. I think she's had enough. Now. She's Good like, girl. give it to me. <laughs> Tart is cooked. It's beautifully crisp. I'm going to pop some parmesan, some balsamic on. It'll be delish. And there we are. We just did it with some French fries on the side. Salad, fries, tart. Fairly healthy and nice and easy. I'm going to dig on in. <laughs> Hello, folks. So today is Friday, and it's arguably the most exciting day of the week because we're doing the most. Well, two really lovely things. We're actually going to a concert this evening. What was that? We're going to a concert this evening. Um, it's a candlelit orchestra, and they're going to be doing the ABBA Central Hall, essentially all of ABBA's most popular songs. But yeah, it's just going to be really nice. We've wanted to do it for the longest time. I'm going to go for a little ZZ's beforehand, which we love. I'm really looking forward to it. The weather's beautiful today. I've had a really good week. This week's been a good week. You know when you have a good week and you just feel better for it. I feel like I've done so much like life admin, hence why I haven't really picked the camera up much. Um, we went for a walk this morning in Wimbledon, it was beautiful, it felt really autumnal, so a gorgeous little mist. Um, I didn't take my camera because I just wanted to like really just unwind, um, but I popped some photos on screen, it was gorgeous. Anyway, today has been a proper get stuff done day. I've, you know, done like finance stuff, I've organised all this stuff that you just put off, but you feel a Great sense of achievement once you get it done. Also been doing some hallway rejigging, so you might recognise these little prints. I got these in a charity shop. I think last, yeah, it was last year. Um, we're going to give the hallway a bit of TLC. We are thinking about getting a radiator cover, just to cover this radiator, just to make more of, well, not really a feature out of it, but just kind of make it feel like it is nice to look at. Sarah's working from home, she's just on the laptop there. So yeah, we're gonna pop those pictures above and get a nice radiator cover. We're also thinking just to tidy this area up. This is Maggie's bed, she's had this since she very first joined us. We're thinking like a nice little basket might be cool to squidge it in to make it look a bit, you know, a bit nicer. Also, I think this print is kind of done, it's nice, but we feel like we can definitely swap it out for something a bit more characterful. The black and white is cool, but it's just not really for us anymore. We've had this about five years since we lived in our old Brixton flat, so we're going to donate this to charity. And then this is the piece of artwork that I got in Sunbury Antiques Market last year when I went with Ewan. Um, it's a gorgeous oil painting in France, so we're going to pop that in its place. So yes, yeah, so it's been a lot of rejig and re reshuffling in the flat and it's feeling good. We've just got loads of laundry done, loads of cleaning, just all of the nice little bits and bobs. Also, very excitingly, this arrived yesterday. This is blowing my mind. This is a new Sage coffee machine. If you've followed this channel for a while, you know my Sage coffee machine was my pride and joy. I absolutely loved it. I filmed a whole video about how to make good quality coffee at home, I'll link that up top if that's your jam. But um, the team at Sage actually got in touch, which is so, so insane and so generous. I've worked with Sage before on a multiple amount of projects and it's just been such a wonderful experience. And this is their new Sage Barista machine, which is just incredible. It's very, very similar to the old one, which I think I've had for about three years. It's gonna go to a good new home, which is fine, but yeah, this is an incredible bit of kit. Zara's currently looking at dog beds for Maggie, like dog crates even. Um, that is, oh. that little sausage, that's quite that's cute, lovely. isn't it? Like, imagine with Maggie's nice green. Yeah. I Save think that. Billy could make that. Yeah, Billy could make that, Billy's my stepdad. Oh, no, anyway, 
I'm gonna quickly drive over to Ewan's because I am gonna meet his little kittens. He's going on holiday, so I'm gonna be kitten sitting, which is very exciting. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over to get the whole lowdown about what the plan is, what they need, how much feed they get, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head over there now. Look where I am, you might recognize this backdrop. <laughs> I'm in Mr. C's residence. In a while. But that makes it sound very grand, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Um, yeah, and look who I just met. <gasps> look Hello. at these guys. So this, wait, this one's pumpkin, right? Yeah. So this is pumpkin, so they are quite similar. However, I've learned now, pumpkin's got more of like a darker back and he's much more playful and just quite, quite tactile. <laughs> Straight up on the table. There we are. I'll link you and vlog down below where he introduced them both. And then we've got Mittens over in the corner, who just kind of does her own thing, doesn't she? She's just, look at her, she's just yeah. plodding along. She's off. Yeah, she's she's very regal, look at her. She's just, just along there. She's just pulling it like shirts, Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, mate. I feel like you are me in cat form. You just love all the love, don't you? Look how beautiful he is. Oh, hello. No. <laughs> oh, you want me to just eat your belly again? You want me to eat your belly? Oh my god, you can definitely smell mics on me. That's the thing. <laughs> Mittens, do you want to come and say hello? Mittens. Come on. What's this? What's this? Not you too busy chewing the jacket. We'll have plenty of time to bond. I said we can bring Maggie around. Oh god, oh my god, she hit my knee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ, I'm gonna bring Maggie around when they're a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Them. Maggie does love cats, but she's a bit, she's just a bit like poi, and obviously cats like to play as well, so. And cats can also do dogs a little bit damage. I just had yeah. a vet the other day, and there was a dog that had got an eye injury and all sorts. Oh, yeah. for a cat? Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Oh, there we are. So yeah. look out. But well, yeah, I'm sure they'll be the best of friends, but yeah. The thing is, they're though, a little bit bigger. you tell them once, and then yeah. they know dogs know, they'll be like, okay, I get it. You yeah. just this. Like anyone. But yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna they're gonna grow to be lovely. Here he is, dear. I'll tell you what I can see. Two wonderful pints. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Lemonade on the side for fancy sake. Oh, lovely, nice. Do you know I often do that? I I get a, a like a, a beer. Yeah. For the longest time, I didn't know what a shandy is. Any American beer is a shandy is essentially um, lemonade tipped in beer or lager. Anyway, yeah. cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What a treat. So we're on South Bank with Zara. Left Ewan and the lovely little kittens. Zara's gonna meet them soon, which is very exciting. Sorry, there's a plane overhead. Anyway, um, we're off for dinner this evening. As I said earlier, we're at ZZ's, where we're going to ZZ's for some lovely little Italian bits. And then um, we're having a candlelit performance in Southwark Cathedral. It's a bit random, isn't it? I know. I'm well, quite this excited. Is like, not to go to this particular one, but this is like our second time trying to go to one. Yeah, we booked this at Christmas time, but basically the way COVID kind of panned out, it was just like, wanted to, yeah, we wanted to make sure that the families we were going to we had like minimal contact, but obviously now it's, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm very excited. I don't know if I'll be able to film during the performance, but I might be able to get like a little sneak clip. But anyway, we're gonna go have some lovely Italian food. For those of you who um, do say London doesn't have a beach, it does. <laughs> this is the Thames bank size. Um, no, it's a pit. Yeah, it's not very clean, is it? No. <laughs> so we're in ZZ's and we are gonna get the arancini and then this, which is the fondue de fromage, which is so, so good. It's like a little cheese fondue. You get some bread to dip in it. And then for my mains, I'm gonna go for this, the polo picante, just without the spicy harissa chicken. So it's like a nice spicy pasta with some garlic bread and mozzarella. Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. I am just making a smoothie. If I look down, that's what I'm doing. Um, you might also hear the washer. <laughs> so I just put a washer on. I feel like we need to catch up from last night because it was incredible. I, it was honestly magic. So the tickets are 20 pounds and if you are visiting London this coming 
Autumn, they've got so much on. Um, they're actually doing a piano rendition of Ludovic or Ian Audi, which is one of my favorite pianist composers, but that's on while we're away on holiday. Otherwise we'd be there, but it was just the most incredible, just the, the atmosphere was, it was just, yeah, magic. And you know when people get string quartets and, at their weddings, I think if I had that and I was in the crowd of a wedding, that cry, that <laughs> cry more than if I saw the bride. Anyway, today is Saturday. I will link that down below for you guys. We got our tickets on an uh, app called Fever here in the UK. Anyway, um, today is Saturday. It is just after 9am and I've got a cookery class today. Well, a cookery day. It's from 10 till 5, 5.30 in um, Forest Hill, just down the road. So it was a gift from my aunt and uncle and I booked on an Indian cookery class. So I'm going to be doing seven hours of cooking, which is a lot. <laughs> they do say bring lots of Tupperware. So I've got all my Tupperware here and some um, reusable food bags. So I'm going to make myself a quick smoothie for breakfast and then head. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film um, while I'm in there, but I'm going to hope that I can. I might ask the chef tutors if I can show some of the dishes I make, but I'm really excited because I feel like I can learn a new craft and then show you guys in future videos. Yeah. Very excited. So I've just finished my, how long have we been cooking for? Like nine hours? No, seven hours. Seven hours. Seven hours. I've just finished my seven hour cookery class. I'm in the cookery school right now. I've done quite a few cookery classes, but this was definitely the most unique and interesting. And I think you guys will absolutely love it. I'll leave it linked down below. There's a whole variety of vegetarian and vegan cookery classes. There's Italian, we've just done Indian one. What are the ones that is there? Do you know there's Italian, Indian, Mediterranean, Mediterranean French, French, um, I'm dining. I'm dining. We literally have just cooked the most delicious dishes. I got some little clips, so I'll insert them. But I'll leave a link down below. It was very lovely. It was a gift. So it'd be a great gift if you want to give this on to someone. Or you can book it for yourself. But yeah, it was lovely. So I'm going to go home and eat all of my creations now. But thank you so much, guys. It was lovely. It was really nice. <laughs> that was so much fun. I have had, like, the most wonderful day. And I feel like I really wanted to share that. My aunt and uncle actually bought that for me as a, um, a birthday present last year and I've only gotten around to using it now because obviously we got Maggie and things have been so busy. So it's in South London, so not very far from Central at all. It's in a place called Forest Hill in a little muse. It's very, very nice. So yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend that. You can do half day courses, you can do full day courses, whatever you fancy. But anyway, I'm gonna go home, see Zara and Maggie and um, eat all of the delicious food that we've just made. So I'm back from the cookery class. I was telling Zara all about it. Sorry if there's a lot of noise. Maggie's currently drinking, the air fryer is on. So we're having everything that I made in the class for dinner. I rang my aunt and uncle just to say thank you so much because I loved it. Um, and I really think you guys will love it too. So this is the fruits of my labor. We've got all of the curries going on. This is the tofu. The um, chef tutor did so you could use paneer if you aren't keen on tofu. I will um, link the class down below if you guys want to do it. But um, yeah, we're having a little corporate Indian beer. I'm going to take it. Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. So it is Sunday afternoon and we're having a lovely walk in the park, we're in Kennington Park, just down the road. We're gonna meet up with Zara's aunt and uncle for a little time with their dog. They have a Bizzla and we're gonna have some little drinks just to enjoy the bank holiday weekend with them. So we're about to meet up with them. But Maggie's running around, she's very excited. <laughs> she's obsessed. <laughs> Woohoo! Good girl. Drop. So we're back from meeting up with Zara's aunt and uncle and we are having a very quick and lazy dinner of um, the pizza that we bought from, oh my god that was a good cheese pull, Wasn't it? from Costco, yeah, with some rosé left over from last night, some fries and a little side salad. I didn't vlog anything when we were at the pub with Zara's aunt and uncle because their dog is just so lovely and she's so, she's only 10 months and she's a bizzler so 
but Nibi Dog One is now full high energy, so it was just all systems go. But um, yeah, super lovely, so we're gonna eat this and then watch some TV. Okay, so today is actually Monday. I was gonna end the vlog yesterday, but today is a bank holiday Monday. These guys have a bit of fun behind us. Yeah, we just had a super chill day. Obviously, Zara's not at work. Uh, so we just went to a place called Dutch, which is down the road, and we went to some charity shops. Let me show you what I got you. I feel like this would be a nice way just to end the vlog. So I picked up two pieces of cloth, and I haven't been charity shopping for clothes in, in quite some time. I usually just get like books and bits and bobs, but these both caught my eye. So these were from St. Christopher's. So this is a Reese striped um, quarter zip polo shirt, which is just so nice. This is coming up black on camera, but it's blue. And this was half price. So I think this was eight pounds which is obviously really, really good for Reese. Reese is obviously very expensive and the quality is lovely. And then I got this Gantt shirt. Again, this was half price. This was 15 pounds down to 7 pound 50. And I had no idea they were half price. I would have been happily paid full price for them. But when the woman um, rung them in on the cashier, she, um yeah, they were, they were half price, which is lovely. So this is like an oversized long sleeve blue shirt, which is just fab for Gantt as well. Such a good price, both lovely quality. Zara picked up this book, so this is Louise Candlish, and it's The Other Passenger. She said this has um, had really good reviews. There's been some pretty famous authors who've reviewed it and said that it's very good. So I think that would be a good holiday read. That is two pounds. This, this is our holiday book pile. This is all of the books that were taken away with us. And then I picked these two up from a charity shop called Shelter. So. I know we've already got one of these, but I liked the colours of this. This is Fortnum & Mason. So this is like a porcelain ceramic tub that they keep their Stilton in. And they don't do it like this anymore. They change the designs quite a lot. But I thought that'd be really nice just to have in the kitchen. Or maybe on display one day when we move. I might pop that away for safekeeping. And then finally, this caught my eye. So this is a terracotta. They're called Salt Pigs. So I had this little um, bamboo shovel, which I'm not sure if I will use that, but you can kind of just slot it on top. There we are, so you can just keep it on top if you prefer. But um, yeah, this is from Jamie Oliver's cookware line. There we are on the bottom, and this was uh, four pounds, which is obviously so good. So I'm just gonna keep that on the side of our hob and just fill it with salt. So you can just grab a little handful or you can use the um, scoop if you've got you know food on your hands it's just a really nice way to spend a bank holiday monday but i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because i feel like this is gonna be very very long eight days worth of footage to try and get through so i really hope you've enjoyed it let me know if you've enjoyed the weekly vlogs because i love filming them um, and i'll catch you all very soon in a future video bye for now